Hello, everybody. Um, I'm just coming on to give you a few uh, announcements, updates, reminders, and I want to show you some ideas I came up with with the Dandy Garden Memories and More and DSP paper. Uh, first, I want to show you some cards that I got in the mail. Um, this one is using the seashell folder and isn't it so pretty that is one that I did not get here is another one and um, this one's unique um, this is next month for April our card swap is going to be recycling this person recycled their calendar made an envelope and you can use printed papers for envelopes and use a sticker on top and then her card this technique I haven't done this yet it is so pretty using um, that black and white and then she colored this section in the middle to give that some color so but it is just the cardstock it doesn't open so uh, her note is, I'm starting to make card fronts only. Thought there is so much waste on a full card with two sides. Now, sometimes we need a full card, but other times like this, it works out just perfect. And then she used one of the messages from the many messages stamp set and framelets. Um, she saw this uh, technique for this style of card on Pinterest and then copied it and decided to mail me one to share it. So um, I thought it was very pretty. I have some cards here. Also, I want to show you from, this is from our team uh, event. Uh, Jody Breckbill is my upline. Every month we can sign up for a team uh, meeting. You can go um, for free. Or you can, and this is not actually a physically go, this is a virtual on um, online. So this is a Zoom meeting. But if you pay $10, which is a really good price, you get uh, enough for this one. We got enough to make five cards of... Um, This is using the field and flower paper, but we got all of this to make these five cards plus a roll of ribbon. So if you're on my team, you can sign up for these as well. You can either pick up the kit then at Jody's or you can um, have it mailed to you for another $3, which is um, a super good price for shipping also. Now I stamped my own um, greetings on here. Hers were a little different, but there are a lot of things that'll fit on those um, cards. So here is another one. Um, so I thought they were really pretty. That's a, um, that a good value to get five cards and a roll of, of ribbon. So uh, you girls who are on my team, are welcome to do that as well. Here is another card that I got, and this is from one of the Paper Pumpkins. So if you're not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, this is an example of what you get in the kits. Um, you need to sign up by March 10th for this month, and this is a celebration month for Paper Pumpkin and an anniversary month, so they are giving some stencils and a sponge um, in addition to everything else in the kit. I wanted to also show you the, the cards from the Movilis event. We are, that used to be Norlo. We are going to continue to do that virtually. It just allows for more people to be able to be, to participate. This is one of the cards. We got eight cards if we paid by a certain time, plus a stamp set. 
So um, that again is a good value for $45. And this one does stand up like this. And Jody Breckbill does have a video out there for how to make this card. It actually is pretty easy technique. Here is another one. These are all from that Moveless event. Um, each time we come out with a new catalog, we'll be um, planning to have another. Now, this is one I believe that you could just tape down these two sides and then use it also as a money or gift card. Here is another one. So pretty. And then the ice cream one. Um, I think this was one of the favorites. Everybody likes ice cream and, and the purples are so pretty. Um, here is one with a strawberry, which is, that is a special faux technique. And I think that was a little tricky for some people, but I believe, I'm hoping everybody got it put together. That one is so pretty. And then here is one again with the seashells. And I did not get a seashell car, uh, stamp set this time. I'm not a seashell person, but it is very pretty. I wanted to show you. We can order the butterflies now. And I got my pack of butterfly paper. I have not received the stamp set and the framelits yet but I do have it on order. And this is the paper. Of course, this paper is always two-sided and it's gonna be a hard decision on which side to use on this because I never feel like covering up some of these designs course you can always do a card that has both sides on um, and from what I've seen on other people's demonstrations those framelits fit exactly over these butterflies and then you can cut them out um, that paper the butterfly bundle the stamp set and framelits will be carrying over into the new catalog this paper will not, and so when it is all, it is all. That's eleven fifty for that butterfly paper. Okay, so let me look here at my uh, list. I have the butterfly bouquet flyer here. Um, you can see a little bit of what the stamp set is, all one piece, and the framelit is all one piece but when you run it through it cuts them apart so um it's kind of a hard concept to understand this is the detail on the stamp set as always there's a 10 percent discount if you purchase the bundle there is also with that this neutrals or natural birch color paper um i haven't actually seen that yet um but i'm sure it's very nice as well so you can buy these things separately or you, as a bundle or there also is a collection where you would get the stamp set the framelits both packs of paper so that is available um, for our customers to order now. Um, I want to show you something I made with, um, and I made that a few weeks ago. It's made with the Dandy Garden um, paper and the DSP and the Memories and More. Whoops, and I just dropped some of them on the floor. So, the Memories and More cards, if you're not familiar, 
have uh, writing. You can use them for scrapbooking or card making. There are also some stickers in them. There's very pretty papers. You can cut them. You can use them as they are. But what I did was make, I like using these uh, little paper pumpkin boxes that you can purchase that are plain. And here are some of the other ones. There's quite a few pieces in this pack. I could probably make a lot of cards um, if I had the time and I took the time to sit down and do it. So these, that's what's in a Memories and More card pack. This is the Dandy Garden paper. So when I show you these cards, I use both of these things. This is a six by six pack of DSP. Those of you who got the paper share would have gotten um, a sampling of this, 10 sheets, I, or 12 sheets, I believe. Hi, Carol. Um, don't be offended if I do see a comment on here now, so I see Carol commented, but I get so caught up in doing these videos that I don't always look at those comments, so please don't be offended if I don't notice that you've commented. So this is what I did with the top of this little paper pumpkin box, and they are waxy inside, and um, you can use them either direction, but they have a waxy that you can use uh, food in them. So what I did with this one was take one of these, and I'm not going to show you all the details if anybody wants directions, but I took one of these, um, and you could use this. I had to cut it down a little bit, but I just measured the top of the box, and that's five and a half, so I'm sure I cut that about five and a quarter, or a little bigger, and then this is about three and three quarters. So I kind of um, just do that as I go. I did wrap ribbon around there before I taped it down, but I just used that card as it was, put um, punched out, stamped this dragonfly and punched it out, plus two little ones, put that on top, and I'm done with that box. They're very easy to decorate. They make a wonderful um, gift. So here is another one that I, uh, one of the cards that I made for inside. The note, card, the note card size fit in them. And I used um, pieces from this Memories and More pack. Not that one, but this is, that would be a pretty one for a card. I might have to work on some this afternoon. Of course, I need to get the cards ready for next week for class. I've been working three days this week, which um, is a bit much for me since I haven't worked since January, actually. This is a sticker on the front of here. So I just took one of the printed pieces, put a sticker. That little B is a sticker. This thank you is a sticker. Put some twine around it, and that was a very easy card to make. Here's another one. I made, I did use, do some stamping on it. I used the corner bouquet, and this paper is from that DSP pack, and cut that down. So here is another one, and this was one of the printed cards from the Memories and More card pack. I used the blue um, for this one, Dragonfly, and did some coloring, and then I matted that on the back. Here's another one. I actually ran this one through embossing folder. I guess you could put it either direction here, depending on what you're going to put on the inside. So I used uh, the Midnight um, Moonlight <laughs> in the back, that color. Um, I used the paper from the DSP for a background cut in oval out of the middle. I ran this white through um, 
I don't have the painted texture, but this is the other one. Um, I can't remember the name of it right now, but it's very similar. And puts a couple dragonflies on there, and it, very easy. So, um, you know, if you need a gift for somebody, I, I just love to use these paper pumpkin boxes and the note cards because people like um, homemade cards. Oh, and this is another one, and I put that a little wonky. I think I had a boo-boo on the back of there. I used um, another embossing folder for the Calypso Coral cardstock there on the background. This is one of the cards from that Memories and More pack. And then there is, this is a sticker, that flower, that's in with the Memories and More pack. The dragonflies, of course, are punched from the dragonfly punch. And this is another one um, that I used, and I did pop this up a little bit, just put a plain, um, not plain, but it's a piece of the printed DSP here. Um, and this is one of the cards that, that uh, dandelion is already on there. I stamped some of the small butter, uh, dragonflies on there. And... Um, that one, again, was very easy. I put those together pretty quickly. Okay, I want to uh, remind you that next week is card class here. I am going to have a limited number of seating. Tuesday morning is full. So it's Tuesday and Thursday, March 9th and 11th. I did add a 10 o'clock time on Thursday because that seems to be a popular time. Um, I saw 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 6 o'clock on Thursday. 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock on Tuesday are open. Um, and I am doing to-go kits as well. The March challenge is to make and post a spring or Easter card using pastel colors. Um, I have one entry in that so far, so I'm hoping that some more of you um, get on the stick and make make some cards and post something there because you'll get, um, there is a pack of DSP that I have designated a spring pack. And I think you'll like it. It's retired, but I think you'll like it. Here is, I just see this off to the side and I'm distracted, but here's another card that I made with those memories and more cards. Um, this was already stamped on there and colored. Uh, the B is a sticker, and this is a full-size card. Okay, back to announcements. Uh, March swappers, you have till March 15 to get your um, masculine cards ready. We're making 16 of them. I am working on getting each person who participate is getting a set of the many messages Greetings. Now, I bought this box, and let me see if I can... I'm opening at the wrong side. This is where I have all my many messages, greetings. Each person that's doing that swap will get a whole set of them, and I'm stamping a bunch in different colors. So you'll get a variety of colors in your greetings, and you can use them next month in the swap to make your cards, which April... I've had some people who like to work ahead. April is a recycle um, card. So for recycle, you can do anything. You can take the ribbon off of a card that you've received. You can do like Sandy. I don't think Sandy would mind me telling you. She's the one who made that envelope out of... A calendar. You can take a pic, punch a picture out of anything, a picture that you like. You can recycle a card that you received. That's what I like to do. I take the whole front off of the card, or let's say somebody sent you a card with a punch out on it, a dragonfly or a butterfly or a bear or whatever. You can do any theme you want as far as thank you, birthday, um, whatever you would like, but I want something on that card that is recycled. I think that has scared some people. It doesn't have to be totally recycled, but let's go green. Let's recycle what we have and um, share those with other people. 
I, when my mother died, I, we had boxes and boxes. She kept all of her cards. We had boxes and boxes of cards that we had to dispose of. Um, because what are you going to do with them? But, um, I don't want to do that. I want to get mine out and use them. I did keep a few of them uh, for the signature that was on them. People who had passed their signature was on those cards. So that's our April swap. Um, you can let me know anytime if you want to sign up for that. But um, we're still working. We don't want to put pressure on the March swappers because they still have till March 15 to get their cards done. Um, I think it's been fun doing the swaps. I'm getting a nice selection of cards to choose from when I need one. But the March is a masculine um, one. The Strawberry Punch. Um, is not orderable right now. If you have ordered it from me, I do have a list of everyone. The Grape Ribbon is not, but they um, they are working to get those things. I've, for all of the items that are in the catalogs, we have a very few items that um, go on back order and are not available um, for a short time. Uh, but I am checking, and I will keep an eye on that punch of the grape ribbon. There's the oval, double oval punch that also is not orderable right now. Um, we, I want to congratulate you again. We donated 260 cards to Sweet Grace, and I am really proud of you all for that. I want to welcome, during celebration, I had three people sign up on my team. Deb Reif. Kelly Dubesky and Rebecca Favre. Oh, Rebecca Zellinger. She was Favre. That's my daughter. Um, they all signed up on my team. Becky Dopp also got a new team member. And so that made it possible for Becky and I each to promote. Becky promoted to Silver. I promoted to Silver Elite. So I want to thank you all. Um, and that is partially based on recruits that's partially based on how much you um spend or sell so um i want to thank you all for helping me get there and i just found out yesterday jody brackbill was holding a contest for us as demonstrators as well and um offering a pampered stamper retreat weekend and i met the qualifications and was chosen for that Pampered Stamper weekend. So I'm just real excited about that and I wanna thank you all. So I'm gonna go there and be able to be re relax. I don't have to um, think about getting things ready for other people while I'm there. I will be uh, probably trying to catch up a little bit on scrapbooking cause I haven't done that for a while. I think that's everything. Um, here's a peek at what one of the cards we're going to make next week using the strawberries. And I want to thank you all for um, all your support, your love, your kind words. And just wish everyone to have a good rest of the day. And I'll see you all next week one way or the other, either for a porch pickup or in person. Thank you again. Bye-bye.